Right, okay, it's now time to welcome my third guests of the afternoon. I'm very, very excited to welcome the Fabricators into the studio. Woo! Hello. Hello, look at this. Oh my God. I love it when we get a little gang in. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a little gang in. Uh, James, Mark and Marcus, welcome. Oh, thank, thank you, you thank yeah. you, yeah. Uh, so, uh, how are you doing? What's going on? Pretty good, yeah, yeah. What is going on? Well, we've just been down to the depot down the road there. Oh, that down in the pub? Good. Yeah. Lovely. Such yeah. a good pub. No, lovely to get uh, get a little drink in before before the show, right? Mm. Yeah, why not? Why yeah. not? We're new to Cali Road, so oh, yeah. um, you know we're just exploring. What the area, first really. time ever? First time, yeah. It, it is for me, actually. Yeah. Cali Road virgins, actually. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's mostly industrial and one pub, and this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I just ask? Yeah. Um, so did this used to be a massive uh, bus depot? Because this is called the bus. Yes, works, it right? did. Uh, I, and. I got told that by my producer in my ear. I was really panicking then. I was just like, ah, and she went, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, correct. Okay. It's um, a big old place, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Big enough for uh, a lot of buses, I would say. Yeah, but yeah. well, there's got to be, because um, those double-deckers. Yeah. So, um, tell us about the new debut album and tell us about the band and just give it, get everybody up to speed, because obviously uh, you're a brand new band. I really like... Um, some of the stuff that I've heard from you guys, especially the last two singles that you put out, uh, one of which we're going to play in a bit. But yeah, just give us a little rundown. Mm, thanks very much, yeah. Well, the album, it's uh, called New Bad News. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it is our first. Um, it's, uh, God, how, how would you describe the sound tracks? Um, I would probably describe it as schizophrenic, mad, Halloween-esque, dirty, dark, post-punk, garage rock madness. If I haven't said that already, that sounds about right. That sounds um, good. Sounds uh, especially, good, yeah. Uh, I like the mm. uh, injection of Halloween in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a well, there is a sort of macabre sound to it, though. Mm. Uh, yeah. I do. Which we're basically Definitely. trying to uh, encapsulate the sound of Halloween in one record. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So one of our one of our earlier songs was originally going to be called Green Halloween 16 mm. um, because it sounded like Halloween. So we. We're basically taking it on to the next level and trying but to. Just the, why? Why, that why didn't we release it on Halloween? Releasing about a month oh, before Halloween know. is yeah, so yeah. stupid. Can, <laughs> can we push it back? Maybe. Can we push it back? Yeah. Well, maybe that's when. Have you got an album launch party set? We yet? do. Yes. Yeah. So that's not on Halloween it's either. Not, no, no, it's not. No, it's about a month on. before. No, we're doing a party at his, so everyone's invited to that on Halloween. Oh yeah, we do. We do. We do have a party. I'm not going to tell you when it is because that would just be terrible. When it's on Halloween. Of course, don't do that. Our album launch party. Our album launch party is on the 20th first the same day as the album comes out of the Ivy House in uh, Peckham Rye Nunn oh it's I like the Ivy House have you been yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a great yeah. stage isn't yeah, it yeah yeah it's great it's yeah. fantastic yeah so um, um, that's going to be great why, why did you pick are you Peckham based we're, we're all kind of based in South London mm. so okay, it bro. kind of yeah make, makes sense to us yeah, um, yeah. nice so, so yeah, I think it's a really good venue. We've got some really, really nice bands playing as well. It's going to be a really fun party. So mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Um, and how are you feeling ahead of the release? Like, uh, obviously, it's the only time you will ever release a debut album. So like, what's what's going through your minds at this point in time? You want to get one chance to make a first impression. So I hope this one counts. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. You said that like I was asking you how you're. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good, but we're we're really proud of it as well. Like we've we've mm. been in the studio a few times before, so I think we've made all of our mistakes with that, and we we worked out um, the ways in which we were rubbish and the ways in which we were pretty good. So we've had enough mm. time that on this record we've really played to our strengths, and I think we've come of age at quite a good time with it. I'm I'm so happy with it. I'm so yeah, glad yeah. that it's come out. Because you had you had a six track EP out, right? We did. And then yeah. uh, and is that completely separate from the album? Has anything from that made it onto the no. album? No, we, that, we that thought about it. We thought yeah. about taking some of the better tracks from that and moving it onto the album. But I like the idea of just like starting from scratch, just like new stuff. And the the funny thing about the album is we because once we done the EP, that was a that was a year's worth of like work gone into that. But then we started from scratch and wrote the album in about two months, maybe three right. months, um, and then just recorded it really quickly. So, um, yeah, because really you fertile you period, wasn't it? We just <laughs> it was. We it was just extremely, run with all of yeah, that, like, like yeah. an allotment, a yeah. musical, a musical allotment. Because yeah. it feels like as well, there's been a bit of a, a, a change in your sound early on between that EP and the two singles. Mm. That I sh is cryptocurrency on the album. Yeah, it yeah is the so, new one. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. and uh, Maureen yeah. both feel like a. 
a step up. So they're, it's, it's they're, just, they're just better. Yeah, they're so just better. better. <laughs> they're, just really better. Exactly. they're just more mature, aren't they? I think just, uh, yeah. yeah. But there's also, uh, I guess, the at least from the titles of the of those two singles, the sort of narrowness of subject is that something that you <laughs> that you uh, kind of did deliberately, or is that something that just it's coincidence mm. that because it feels um, like focusing in has given you a much sharper. Yeah, well, the sub subject matter, I think, like, accidentally, um, it kind of be became clear what, what we were talking about. And I think that's the kind of, um, just kind of like the, the crises of modern society and how, like, there's lots of kind of mental illness, like, everywhere and everyone's just going crazy. And um, I think, yeah, we're just trying to tap into that psyche of being in mid-20s and in this uh -huh. digital age and trying to, like, work out um, how we exist in this kind of confused society. Well, I, I um, think you maybe hit the nail on the head there. I mean, I'm in my mid-30s, and I think <laughs> the mental illness stuff comes down to the digital... Mm. Biz, like, yeah, yeah. All these yeah, strains yeah, cannot be I say mid-20s. Um, that's only because the Joe, the bassist, has kind of brought down our average age, because we're all, like, coming to <laughs> 30 now. Yeah. But <laughs> even so, it's <laughs> like... Yeah. Uh, but but it's, it's true, like... But it's just that weird age where you're kind of in that transition, and you're becoming, like... A real proper person, and you're trying to fit into society. All of that, all of that stuff that's meant to like connect you more, it, it seems to have the effect of making you more isolated, really, because mm. you're not actually meeting up with each other. You're just talking. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think there's yeah, a little yeah. bit of that in there, but mm -hmm. but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of. But we didn't really thing, discuss yeah. lyrics like. We did at the overtly. very beginning when we started writing songs, but then we kind of just gone off and done our own thing. I but you, you know what works in the band. I think we've just we've kind of, kind of um, through the lyrics we've worked out they're all having like a massive breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we don't talk about it. We just write in our lyrics, and then yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. realizes how troubled we are. Mm. I think I think yeah, it's kind of different different things. I think it all came pretty naturally, especially with what Maureen as well. You mentioned before, yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty random, but yeah, it's like. So I, I wrote the song as well, and then James and, and Mark kind of then added on to that, but that was about my wife's nan, basically. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty different to cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah but, but still, it's it's a very focused yeah, kind yeah. of mm. area, mm. like mm. focusing right in on something. I quite yeah. enjoyed yeah, that yeah. about both those tracks. Um, well, let's give let's give Maureen a, a spin. Yes. Not your wife's no, <laughs> the, the track. Let's have a spin on Maureen. Maureen, I hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, probably not. She's probably uh, not. Anything you want to say before we uh, before we press the the big green button? How <laughs> did you get my shirt so clean, Maureen?
that song with the neighbors like Israel and Palestine, but she'll be fine. Yes, she'll be fine. She's the minister of domesticity. The user of pop psychology. Now, if that is not an exciting new sound to come out of your speakers, then you must be listening to way better stuff than me, because for me, that is brilliant. Uh, that's from our guests, The Fabricators. Um, debut album coming out, um, New Bad News. Um, on the 21st? On the 21st, 21st. This month. And I will be uh, popping that straight on in my headphones as soon as it's... Nice arrived one, so nice yeah Excellent. looking forward to thank it you. Um, thank you it's called uh, New Bad News so are you ready for a feature based on the <laughs> title of your album <laughs> yes yes right. okay well, and it kind of also is also based on uh, your band name because some of these stories are fabricated oh, oh, oh god okay. done the work welcome yeah, look at that radio research. perfection okay. I like you Joe so, this is good um, <laughs> you're, you're going to have to decide like um, as a band so you know between the three of you you'll have to work out I'm going to give you some stories uh, from okay. the news oh god uh, bad news Oh, right. And uh, uh, you've got to decide if they're real or not. So can we make a competition from it? So I'll answer one and then we'll go. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Do we have more than three? I get my abacus out. Yeah, let's, yeah we've got loads. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. Well, who, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Who's in charge here? I am. <laughs> That's what I thought. I, I, I listen to... I listen to criticism. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> right, so I'm just going to roll through these. You just have to tell me if I've made them up, if they're fabricated, or if they are bad news. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, okay. So, uh... They're not all from recent, because they're all about uh, ways that people have died for some reason, okay? Oh, so lovely. Should I tell you if they fit into your Halloween theme? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, a student died after only eating Findus Crispy pancakes. True or false? <sighs> I, 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 uh, I think I think it might be true. What, what pancakes are it? Finder's crispy pancakes. Is, 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 is that a brand? Yeah, yeah you know Finder's yeah. crispy pancakes. I've not heard of that brand. Has everyone else oh. heard of that brand? No. Because yeah. my, my question, I say it's true. Right. No, you've all you're all gonna answer the same question. Okay. Sure. <laughs> well, it, Marcus. Well, uh, I'm gonna go for a false. I'm gonna go for the false. Mark. I'm gonna say true. Okay. Uh, it is in fact false. That's oh. one nil to Marcus. Yes. I made that up. I uh, can't believe you don't know what Finder's Crispy Pancakes are. You're just the wrong side of 30, <laughs> it turns out, to know. Um, okay. Um, Elvis impersonator dies on throne like Elvis. Basically, a man killed himself so Ooh. that he could be just like Elvis. Actually, I, I, know, I know this. Hang I, on, but don't, don't spoil it out because well, this is a competition. It is a competition. Well, if he it knows it, then it must be true. <laughs> you can <laughs> tell that kind of thing. <laughs> I, I, re- know, I remember that false. story. <laughs> That's yeah, I false. Said true. Um, who's got, what are you going for, Marcus? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for a definite true. True? Yeah, I'll go for true as well. Yeah, it's got to be true. It's false. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not <laughs> false. I don't know. After being smothered with gifts such as cloaks and hats. 
He basically had so many gifts thrown at him while he was on stage that he he died. He suffocated. In the 1600s. How do they have records? Well, no, I suppose they would. Um, I think they're they all going to be false. I'm going to say false this one. What do you reckon? I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm just going to go for a true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think it's so weird that you just wouldn't make that up. You, you uh, laugh too hard, Joey. That <laughs> like it it's true. Yeah. Oh, Go on. Once 21 people died when a tanker. It's all about death. Yeah, I did yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when a tanker burst, flooding a town in Boston with molasses. <laughs> hmm. I, I'm going to go false on that. Okay, I'll say false as well. I'm going to say true. It's true! Yes! I thought so. I remember reading that actually. Okay, did you? No, you didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the sun. Okay. Um, a dad was initially saved, then died fixing a satellite dish. Sorry, I'm gonna run out of music. Hang on, let's. Uh, fix a satellite dish. Uh, he fell from the roof to have his fall broken by a trampoline, only to land on his own screwdriver. <laughs> Uh, a I, I, a I mean, wouldn't kill yeah, you. Yeah, why would that be facing well, up? It depends how high he bounced on the trampoline, mm -hmm. like, and, and where it landed in his body. Um, yeah. I'll say false, though. Yeah, I, I, I don't, You're yeah. Going false? I'm, I'm going false. I'm going to say true, because mm. I've been wrong every other time. <laughs> you really have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it is, in fact, false. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> final question, and you're out the running. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. you might as well be in, in case you can salvage a <laughs> point. <laughs> you get the, uh, get the last, last place prize. Um, <laughs> Okay, um, cool, Mark. So Basil Brown died of a carrot juice overdose Russell when he Brown drank 38 <laughs> litres in 10 days and it turned his skin yellow. Is that true or is that false? I know Sunny Delight can turn his skin yellow, so it is possible. So is I'm going to say it's true. Hang on, what's the score at this point? Is, this, is it uh, even? You to a level. Let, let's can we do it at the same level. time? Yeah. Can we do like a countdown one. and then re reveal? So you've got three each. Uh, oh, okay, God. three, two, one, true. true. Oh. oh, you're gonna have to ask us another one now. All right. uh, it is in fact true. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course uh, it is. Uh, <laughs> why would it not be true? Bruce Lee's son was shot on set by accident. True. And killed. True. False. It is true, Mark. Uh, true. Um, guys, I've got one more piece of business to do with you. Um, Sound dominant. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that is to ask you, you uh, the questions for best guests. Now, I've asked these to all the guests on the show today, so oh, you'll okay. have to put forward an answer for the band, so you'll have to, okay. you'll have to work it out. Okay, but here we go. Um, if you could name one thing, one object after the band, what would it be? Like, um, I'd probably say, like, devil horns or something. Um... Probably that little statue of the baby smoking. Oh, yeah, the house. smoking yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we've got a little, a little, <laughs> um, little toy about yay big on our radio, so you can't see it, but um, it's got a little s cigarette that comes at night that you can light, and it actually burns. Like so an so I, found I found this in a car boot sale yeah. like, a couple of years ago in, uh, in Banbury. It's a little like <laughs> it's a little plastic baby, and you actual you actually put like proper like mini cigarettes in his mouth, and you light them, and he smokes it. I just who wow. would have made that? But so yeah, so that the yeah. smoking baby. The smoking baby. Yeah. Okay, the smoking baby. You probably didn't expect yeah. that. Yeah, did no, you? It was so it, it was a smoking. Uh, the the fabricator's smoking baby statuette. That's yeah. true. We, we yeah. nearly we nearly had it as the album cover, yeah. but I got persuaded out of it. So. Yeah. Um, if you could swim in a swimming pool of any substance, uh, not including water, what would that substance be? Jelly. You wouldn't be able to swim though, would you? It'd be a struggle. Well, don't no, get, you could don't try run across it. How good would that be? Um, but no, you know, it would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah. probably say Marmite. Oh, because yeah, well. it'd just be a challenge, wouldn't it? It would be pol <laughs> polarizing. Yeah. For all that yeast. Battling against yeast. You might get an infection there, Marmite. Let's say yeast. Let's say yeast. Oh, yeah, just yeast, not even Marmite anymore. Yeah, yeah, just a pool full of yeast. Uh, from their eponymous, <laughs> from their <laughs> from their second album, uh, <laughs> battling against yeast. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so question uh, number three: the last four items of food that you ate. So, I, if it was a dish, 
then you'd have to break it down into individual items. But I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna go one each. So, okay. uh, James, the last item you ate. Uh, it was a katsu chicken curry, so chicken So curry chicken. Sauce. Marcus? Uh, I had the Sainsbury's meal deal. <laughs> so, pick, a, pick sandwich. Ha what was in the sandwich? Ham and cheese. Right, chicken, ham. Courgette. Courgette. And then the background. Coriander. Coriander, okay, good. I just wanted to know the last four items that you'd yeah. eat. That and it's a good food to pick. Would you have that together? No, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to see not? which four sound <laughs> the best <laughs> together. Um, and I guess I guess it's the most likely thing to end up on Ready Steady Cook, isn't it, those four? Yeah. Um, yeah. If you had, as a band, if you had to take Kim Jong-il out for the afternoon, <laughs> where would you take him? Oh, Kew Gardens, straight away. Whoa, it's it's, it's lovely. Nice of you. I, went, I, went there. No, I, think, I think it might mellow him out. It might mm. kind of get him out. All right, I like that. Kew Gardens. I, I'd probably say Weatherspoons. <laughs> <laughs> do, do they drink over there? Well, no, he, he, can, have, he can have a lemonade, though, couldn't he? Like, <laughs> yeah, at a, yeah. I don't know, a panini. Yeah. Or a, <laughs> a, a lemonade and a panini. Or, or an ultimate burger or something. Yeah, <laughs> Fine, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you going for, Kew Gardens or Weather Springs? Oh, I think Kew Gardens, but they've got a right. bar there as well, so what we about, take them to the bar in Kew Gardens. What about Primark? <laughs> did love it. Yeah. Sure <laughs> I mean, classic. Get some new food. British <laughs> staple. It's got a very specific sense of uh, style. <laughs> 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 yeah, they've got the Kim Jong-un outfits there. Fair, fair oh. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stick you down for a Kew Gardens. Yeah. I think okay, yeah. And it's if if you win Best Guest this afternoon... We can get Weather afterwards, can you? Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. We'll put them together. We can do one big day out. Yeah. Uh, if you win best guest this afternoon, gentlemen, uh, you can have anything you like from the imaginary prize cupboard. Ooh. So, what would your prize of choice be? Ooh. Well, anything mm. in the world. Mm. But it's imaginary, so you're not oh, right. necessarily getting it. I didn't know this was a competition. I would have tried harder. Yeah. Um, the best way. Dinner with Joey Page. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it's a, well, yeah, you can be as fanciful as you like. And dinner with Joey Page. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd like Joey, yeah, I'd like Joey Page. Joey Page. <laughs> I'd like Joey Page to come to our debut album launch at the Ivy House on yeah, the 21st yeah, of yeah, September. Right. That I'm going to try and come anyway. So well, there you go. That's great. And I do love to be bigged up, so we'll take that. For coming in, uh, you've been great guests. Uh, good luck with the album. Uh, as soon as it's re released, we'll play some more tracks off the Geezer. bit. And, so uh, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Thanks for coming. In. Uh, this in the